Hello and welcome to this video. On this video, we're going to replace the thermostat on our M104 engine. This is a 1995 Mercedes S320. It's got the straight six. And the thermostat housing is right here. And I'm going to use a genuine bare thermostat. Now, um, if you order a thermostat, I ordered this from Auto House Arizona. This one comes with a gasket, but if you order it from the dealer, it doesn't come with the gasket, so you have to order the gasket separately. And the Mercedes parts from the dealer is much, much more expensive. So to get to this housing, all you do is take out three bolts and the housing will come loose, but there will be some water. So what you want to do is open up the overflow tank and siphon some of that fluid out to bring the water level hopefully down to the bottom of the housing here so you won't make a big mess. Then take the housing off. Um, then we're going to install the new thermostat, 87 degree thermostat, by the way, for this engine specification. And then we will um, purge all the air out through this top opening here, and then we'll be ready to start the engine and see how it works. So we'll get started here in just a minute. With the engine completely cold, you want to siphon as much as you can out of this coolant tank. You want to bring the level all the way to the bottom if you can. That way the water won't try to flow through these tubes and things while you're trying to do other work on the vehicle. So again, engine has to be completely cold. We used a hypodermic syringe, a very large one, and siphoned it all out and we got about a gallon out. To remove the upper thermostat housing, it's pretty easy. There's just three bolts that hold it in place. But you want to put some towels and stuff around it because it's probably going to leak a little bit of water. So we're going to go ahead and take these um, bolts out. They're already loose. At least that one is. Um, so I'm going to take those out and then I'll lift the housing up. After you've taken these three bolts loose, which by the way, um, when they go back in, they go in at 10 Newton meters. You can wiggle this back and forth until you can get it loose. And your thermostat is in here. Make sure you pay attention to the way it goes in. And you're going to have to pull it out of here. So we're going to do that and then replace the uh, rubber seal and the thermostat with a new one. All right, we put the uh, new thermostat in, and you want to make sure the little bleeder area, um, there's a little like rivet thing where air bubbles can come out. You want to make sure it's at the highest point. So we've done that. Then you put an O-ring on here. We lubricated ours with Crytox. Then you're going to put the cover back on. You're going to put the bolts in and torque them down to 10 Newton meters, and you want to go in a pattern around so that you just tighten them up a little bit at a time. And then once it's snug, we're ready to put the hose back on and finish the reassembly. So we've put the thermostat housing back together and there's three different styles of these and depending on what kind of style you have, depends on how you bleed it. Some have no hose here, they just have a bleeder screw here. So you take it out and you fill fluid in the reservoir until it starts to come out of there and you squeeze these hoses gently to try to get all the air out. And once you've gotten all the air out, then it's bled and you might have to repeat that procedure and it'll be a little copper washer that goes underneath it. Or you might have this style here and what you do is you fill the reservoir up and again you squeeze the hoses until you can hear all the air come out of here and it goes through the hose back to the reservoir and the reservoir level is going to be a little higher than um, the air here so you're going to be able to get all the air out that way. The third one is a banjo fitting that ends up looking like this with a hose coming off and same thing, you can just squeeze the hoses until all the air gets out of here. And if you put the thermostat in correctly, um, the air should go through with a little tiny rivet little piece in there and let all the air bubbles out and it should outgas that way. So that's all there is on this video. Thank you for watching.